1976 Magnavox console stereo. So absolutely hideous we have to use the good camera and get it in 4K. Nothing but the best for this finery. With the custom handcrafted plastic cabinet and the fake pole handles that are completely useless. This is when design and craftsmanship really took a flush down the toilet. This is when the cabinets went from handcrafted cabinetry made out of real wood to particle board and plastic. And yeah, it's in rough shape. It's been left outside. The Doobie Brothers, what were once vices, are now habits on 8-track stereo cartridge. Realistic. So Radio Shack put the hammer down. Merle Haggard. Ooh, C.W. McCall, Convoy. Get your CB radio going, Fotein. See what we have here. Lynn Anderson, Rose Garden. I think I know that song. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. Tape play jacks. And here's something very cool. This right here makes the whole video worthwhile. Here is the original sales receipt for this. Deliver date 4 6 1976. The price was, I'm not sure I understand this receipt because there's two things on here, but $499, extended warranty, this sale trash only. Uh, maybe I'm not reading that right. Maybe it's more of what I... Look at this. It was purchased at May Company. Mayco. That was May Company. That was a department type store out here. Mako, wow. The lid doesn't want to stay up anymore. I think there's an adjustment for that. Let's see here. Feels like it's got a needle on it. Oh. Well, let's plug it in and fire it up and see what happens. Power has been applied.
California's K-Earth. Actually, <laughs> it has some power. Speaker sounds like it's. Ooh. We even have. Come on, cut it out. Nothing but the best. Crap. All right. I'll screw with that in a minute. Uh, tape. Let's see which one of these should we destroy? This one. Sure, the belt is broken or missing. Let me screw with this turntable for a minute. Turntable, is that too elegant of a name for such a... Let me screw with this. You know, sometimes I just don't have the patience for stuff like this. Um, there was output from the cartridge when I initially did it, and now it's quiet, so I don't know what happened there. Let's open it and see what's on the inside. Getting kind of tired of this lid. This thing is about to become a subject of a very violent New Year's Day EOL. So we have dual styrofoam coolers for stereo cooling sensation. It has a separate amp. What is this? I need to wipe this off. Or does this come out of here? No. So the speakers are in here. The bass speakers. And boy, what a cheap... Talk about trying to cut cost. Okay, let's do this together. Wow. For service technicians only. No, I thought it would be for the pharmacist. Tape player removal. That's kind of cool. Disconnect the wires from the left cabinet. Da, da, da. 
disconnect, remove the four screws that secure the tape deck in place. The screws are accessible through the four clearance holes in the bottom of the tape, de tape deck shelf. Remove the tape deck from the cabinet. Okay, if you say so. So I want to know where our audio went. Do these, do these cartridges go bad? Is this a crystal cartridge? What is this? Let me play. Yeah, you can hear that speaker's bad. And the cartridge is bad because got this is the plug for the turntable. And we got plenty of gain here. So the cartridge is bad. The cartridge is bad, the mechanism is screwed up. Uh, this all needs to be cleaned. The cartridge deck probably has a broken belt. And actually, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Let me get down here on the ground, but I can see the flywheel there. Let me try this, where's Low Lux? I could see the flywheel there and the belt is good. The motor is frozen. I can reach up in there with my hand and I can turn the uh, flywheel but the motor is frozen. Um, and this is a brilliant design here where they got this is this is great video right here. This is nothing but the best. Absolute professionalism. Maybe I should drop the camera. That would improve it. It's like laying under a car trying to video something. Uh, so they got two screws here for the transport. And then they got two screws right there that are literally like two centimeters from the damn uh, uh, styrofoam speaker container. So maybe this is a pull the amplifier. Bet Jordan Peer could use the motor out of that turntable. all the magnets going bad if that's the type of motor so I can feel that motor has a fan on the top of it I, I might pull that transport out quality Jeez. Do we really need like a quarter horsepower motor for a stupid tape transport? Look at this damn motor. Surprised they didn't make it liquid cooled. There's a micro switch right here when you push the cartridge in it. it put some oil in this thing. I wonder if the pot metal is warped from age and it's binding. I mean I, I do actually kind of think it's time for this thing to die and 7533. Here I am trying to rescue it like I found it next to the swamp and Vietnam and I'm gonna get a million views on the video 
Yeah, I don't know. It's the top. It's and I, I've got some zoom spat oil there, and I'm trying to lubricate it, but it's not cooperating. Okay, what it looks like I can do with this is get back in here with it like this and lubricate this bushing with the zoom spout oil. Uh, this unit is not even worth my time to disassemble and clean. This video is for entertainment purposes only. There you go. Now we're gliding on silicone. Oh yeah. Now we're going to get some RPMs. Is that a permanent magnet at the bottom of that motor? It sure is. So, earlier I talked about giving the record player to Jordan Peer. These Magnavox motors have this magnet, this permanent See that ceramic magnet there in the bottom? That's getting weak. That magnet is getting weak on all the Astrosonic, I believe it is, record player motors, and they stop running or they run at the wrong speed. That's what I was saying about giving it to him because, well, if you don't know, he has a shop where he does this stuff professionally. Yeah, that's the permanent magnet right there that gets weak. What a dumb design. It's all back together and check this out with that permanent magnet it almost acts as a detent like a stepper motor you know it does not smooth turning like that it Definitely you can see the poles of the magnet right there. What a trip. Okay, are we ready for rock and roll? Oh yeah. Come on, stuff's hard to do. Look at that. Look at that acceleration, wow. Look at this. Now the... Look at this, now the motor has so much torque. Well, the motor does have a hell of a lot of torque. Okay, are we ready for cartridge destruction? Let's, who should we do in first? All right, we ran out of uh, battery on the 4K camera, so here we go. Oh yeah, listen to that. Oh, it is. I never promised you. So is this a dirty head? Okay, I cleaned the head with some alcohol. Let's see here. Such convenience. That's what it takes to find you. I just assume that you Oh, hell yes. I'm looking at this and I'm wondering why there's no high end out of this side. Who worked on this? Look at that. Both ground and positive are connected to the same terminal. See that? No wonder why the... Brilliant. Let me correct that. That looks better. Voice 
How about we do this, some of this realistic? Well, I, I, I will give it this. That motor has a hell of a lot of torque. This ain't no 12 volt DC uh, toy of a 8 track player. This is a heavy duty. Ready to run on any line that seen nothing but tail lights from Phantom 309. Wow. We rode and talked the white the night. White. How about a little uh, black water? A little Doobie Brothers black water. Now the thing about these is there's no way to fast forward or rewind, you just have to wait. I forgot how good these damn things sound. The stereo separation is just absolutely impressive on this thing. I mean, it's... That's all in that channel. I guess this is an instrumental track. I got this thing freed up and um, the cartridge is still dead but these motors go bad a lot and you know of course the speed is unstable because the phone is off center but we'll go to 33 but it, it seems it seems pretty good actually it's pretty damn close Oh, now all of a sudden the cartridge, now all of a sudden the cartridge is working. What the hell? Okay, now we're back to this crap again. Come on. But the stupid tone arm is locked into place here. I can't... So, okay, I think we got to do this. Okay, we're on the 78 side. <laughs> Great. <laughs> looking for some more TR-909 music and I was trying to find Ira Levy for your mind because I don't think copyright would get that.
but Robin S, show me love, and Robin S, love for love. This is TR909 stuff. Okay, Robin S, show me love. This should push the... Really? That says 33 and a third RPM on it. Okay, let's go to 45. Here we go. Hope the. There we go. Let's go back. The, la the thing is mislabeled, I'll show you. what the neighbors think of this I am I'm having way too much fun with this piece of junk uh, 33 and a third promotional only it's a misprint you know what I'm having too much fun with this damn thing so let's close it out with this just because you know we got to stay on the cheesy tip, right? We'll roll a little bit of the instrumental here. <laughs> 